I'm going to talk about how we stretch a canvas on a frame when you want to paint on a frame if you don't want to buy a frame which is already stretched and already done you can do it by yourself and I'm going to show you how I do I'm not saying that my way of doing is the best it's uh, it's a way of doing in previous videos I explained that I wanted to do a painting about the song uh, by Tok Tok and written by Mark Hollis uh, named uh, Tomorrow Started and uh, I absolutely love this song and it gives me a lot of images that I want to put on the canvas. I have a lot of images so it means that I need a canvas which is rather big uh, because uh, if it's too small I won't be able to put all what I want on it. So that's why, I don't know if you can see it, it's behind me, you see that my canvas is stretched now. Uh, is much bigger than the one I used to do the Marcolis portrait. It's rather big. I will write the dimensions in the description box below to give you an idea of the size of the, of the canvas. So I'm going to show you how I stretch it. I didn't do it alone. I was with my son, my younger son. First, because it's very difficult to stretch and staple in the same time probably there are some artists who are used to it uh, who are strong and who can do that very easily it's not my case i i used to do that with my ex-husband uh, a very long time ago um, so now i had to ask my son except that my ex-husband was stretching and i was stapling and actually right now i was stretching and my son was stapling um, on the wood uh, but you can do it by yourself but it's much more difficult and we wanted to film also so we had like um, a holder or something to hold the camera to to film in the same time it was a little complicated we went in a room where there was almost nothing so you can really see um, only what we were doing so basically what you need you need a frame a wooden frame you need some canvas so i here i use some linen canvas but you can also use some cotton canvas or you can use a mix of linen and cotton the linen is more expensive the cotton is less expensive but the linen is better because once you stretch it it doesn't become loose. The cotton has a tendency to become a little loose even when once it, it's stretched so sometimes you have to restretch which is a little annoying so it's better to keep the cotton or the mix for smaller canvas and for really the big ones use rather the linen that's what I suggest. I bought my canvases in Paris but I suppose you find exactly the same things um, here in the US or wherever in the world. I think it's valid for everywhere. So once you have the frame, the canvas, you will need uh, this tool which is something to stretch uh, the canvas. You can find that in any store of fine art or you know um, even on internet you must find that uh, uh, how we call that in English I don't even know how we call that in French it's a stretcher I don't know um, you need of course a stapler so that you can even find that at Home Depot or stores like that because it can be used for many things uh, mine is really bad uh, you will see that I needed a hammer because when I was stapling it was not going completely in the wood so I had to hammer the staples to make them come in the wood uh, usually you are not supposed to do that but think of a hammer it can be useful obviously it was at a point I used the stapler of my son uh, I thought it would be better actually it was not I still needed the hammer so you see 
and basically that was it that's all what I needed and my arms and uh, and that's it so the first thing I do I put my frame on the canvas so I have to unroll the fabric and I must cut uh, the, the canvas the canvas must be able to go back to go at the back and cover a little more than the wood of the frame so so you have enough fabric at the back to staple you know uh, it, it, I would say it's like sewing a dress you you need some fabric for the hem here it's not a hem but you need some fabric to to hold the canvas at the back the front of the frame is where the wood is not uh, straight the wood is slightly um, not straight i mean going um, lower toward the center so that is the front of the frame so your canvas must be on this side on the side where the wood is not completely straight but slightly like this because when you paint then it's not going to touch the wood and it's not going to make stains or things like that so be careful about that the canvas there is a front and a back it's rather easy to see it but it's not a big deal because anyway then you are going to paint on it and it's going to be covered so it's not a big deal if you don't put the canvas on the right side it doesn't really matter once your fabric is cut then you start so first thing i do i staple one um, at one center of one side the the largest side i start here i staple in the middle you don't need to stretch anything you just need to staple to hold the fabric and then on the other side you are going to stretch i am going to show you and then staple and then you are going to do the same thing at the center of a side which is the shorter side by stretching and then you are going to do the same thing on the other side at the center by stretching so all your centers are stapled then i'm going to start maybe more towards the corners same thing you have to stretch every time and staple stretch staple every time you do one side then you do the other side and you continue like that
rather for the end the corners I'm going to show you how I do it so I do each corner carefully and once you think that you put enough staples everywhere you didn't you will see that there are some areas which need to be more stapled so I continue by the same way between the staple to staple again stretching and staple and then the other side exactly by the same way and this is the result the fabric is not perfectly straight you you would think oh it needs to be iron no it doesn't matter it's a really well stretched right now and once you are going to start painting with the gesso for example it's going to smooth the surface and it's going to be straight but if you it bothers you you can of course iron your fabric before but anyway you know when you are going to stretch it's not going to be perfectly iron so I don't think it's necessary to bother doing that and I think it's rather well stretched my painting I will I'm actually painting right now but not <laughs> this kind of painting I'm painting walls uh, 
I'm painting walls in uh, beside my store and I'm going to paint the walls of the building where I am. Um, I will show you that in another video, but uh, it's not of course the same work as doing a painting on a canvas. It has nothing to do. I don't need to think about it. I just need to take my role and paint. But there is something similar. The fact to apply the paint, there is a kind of similar feeling somehow. I will have to think about that. Anyway, um, my painting will be, as I was saying before, about tomorrow started, which is a wonderful song. I recommend that you go to listen to it and especially that you listen to the lyrics, which are beautiful and the song is beautiful and I hope that my painting will be as beautiful. Just one, uh, one last thing before I stop this video. I found by sorting some stuff in my home, I found a very old stencil uh, which is supposed to be, I think you see what it is, it's supposed to be the Union Jack, but it's written here. It's a very old vintage stencil uh, made uh, by uh, some people in Paris who used to do, you know, the, the fact that you bind a book, binders, I suppose. Uh, these people were using a lot of stencils. Uh, I have them because they closed and I don't remember why. Why I got them, I don't remember. Anyway, it's written Union Jack Australia. Australia, Australia. It means Australia, and there is a number. So I don't know. Australia has an Union Jack, which is different from the United Kingdom one. I don't know. Anyway, it looks really like uh, Union Jack, you see. So I suppose that here you must do yes here you must do the blue color and here you must do the red color and on white and you should get an union jack uh, i love the union jack and i found that and i think that i'm going to use it uh, not not on my canvas here but on something else it's damaged i had to repair it and i have a few repairs to do but that is fantastic i love oh and while i tell you you know the material that it's um, a kind of very thin cardboard uh, manila paper cardboard and it's it smells like linen oil because it has been covered with linen oil why we do that so the, the paint can go through because of the oil and uh, I love using this material to do my own stencils. I, I know a lot of people prefer using some uh, kind of transparent plastic to do the stencils, but I prefer working with that. It's the old method. And the, the holes here are probably pins to hold at the right place the stencil. It's an object which has a lot of history and I absolutely love that. I wanted to, to show it to you. It's like that. You see it's written here. I wanted to show it to you um, because it's beautiful. So this time, see you later. Bye bye. <laughs>